So Casa Julian is known for one thing, the chuleta. The chuleta is a steak. It's charred on the outside, it's rare on the inside. It's called by many people the best steakhouse in the world. And so we are looking forward to trying it here. We're going to have ourselves a nice medieval steak dinner and uh, have some peppers and have some other stuff. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. from Navarra that comes per unit, a lettuce heart from Tudela. Okay, you can order full portion, so half portion. That comes with a pepper ice cream. Okay. Yes, that, that's, that, yes, that's it. And in, depending on the season we are, we have different options. And today we have grilled leeks with almonds. They have white asparagus. Those leeks sounded very good. So yes. let's start with the leeks. Uh, I think that we want to share a chuleta, but a small portion. One kilo would work. To also uh, the pimientos. And uh, I would like a glass of. Is this, this a full bodied wine? Or? Yes, it's a full bodied wine. Nice. It's a wine from Rivera del Duero. Oh, okay. It's a wine uh, with very, very old vineyards with more than 100 years. It grows on. Very peculiar chalky soils, mm -hmm. white soils, yes. that are not very usual here in, in Spain. Yes. And it's a full body wine, but with a very mineral ending, oh, very nice. 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 Oh, that's very nice. I'm going to enjoy this with the chuleta. Mm. This, this wine is not like what you would expect with, for example, a Rioja is going to be very fruity and um, some of the other wines are much lighter. This is a heavier wine, and the taste is very gravelly, very minerally. It's, it's not as fruity as a Rioja, but it's going to go really well with an older steak, which is what they specialize here, is uh, the, what they call vaca vieja, which are older cows. The steak has a, a lot more flavor to the meat, and uh, it's gonna go really well with this nice gravelly wine. Now they have a special here today. These are grilled leeks. And you don't usually see these in a lot of restaurants, but it is a specialty here. And I thought, let's try it and see it. I like leeks. I love uh, kakaliki soup um, and potato leek soup. And I love the taste of leeks. It's a very mild oniony flavor. These are cooked with some wine. This may be a sherry wine. 
that it's basted in. It's just got a nice, rich flavor. It's delicious. You come here for steak, and you wind up with leeks first. Those leeks were amazing. They cover them with a smoked green oil, a smoked herbal oil, and then they use little fried garlic and almond chunks and sugar. And they coat it with the oil, the smoked oil, and the sugar and the almond, and it was so good. Young said those must have been the best leeks she ever had, and I agree, they're probably the best leeks I've ever had too, and they were delicious. Uh, yes, very good, thank you. That's great. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Una muestra. This is the specialty of the house. This is the chuleta, which you generally find really good chuletas anywhere in Basque country, but Casa Julian is known to have probably the best steak in the entire world. And so you shouldn't pass up the chance to come here and try their steak. They also serve what they call the piquillo peppers or pimientos piquillos, and they are like a candied peppers. Uh, I've heard someone call them pepper candy, and they go really well with the steak. Also, our neighbor uh, here has been telling us he already got his steak and he tried it. He said the fat on the steak may be better than the steak itself. So we're looking forward to trying this. So far, it's been an amazing meal and I, it isn't over. That has such a deep, rich flavor, a richer, beefier flavor than any steak I've ever tried in the USA. And I've had some good steaks. I've been to Kansas City, and they have really good steaks there. But this is better. This is beefier. This is a richer taste, and it's certainly a wonderful steak. Now I have some of my pepper candy. that sweet, it's like a confit, like a pepper confit. And it's got a sweetness to it, but they've also sprinkled some salt over it. So there's some saltiness to it. It goes really well with the steak. It's a nice combination. It's something you should definitely get here. Whatever else you get, get the chuleta, get the piquillos peppers, and get anything else you want. And now I'm gonna start drinking. Oh my God. So you know me, I can't have any kind of a decent meal without also having dessert. And they have a dessert here that is a Basque cake. It's a traditional cake here. And they have, it's a chocolate cake with a chocolate cream filling. Look at this. Very rich. Imagine two chocolate brownies with chocolate ganache in the middle, and then it's got stuff sprinkled over it. It's very good, very sweet, incredibly tasty. This might be a good time for me to give you a little wrap up of the dinner here. The steak, beefy, chewy, really soft, good texture, charred on the outside so you have the charred flavor. Near the bone you have the charred inner part as well, but um, it was a wonderful steak and with those sweet piquillo peppers and the confit pepper type flavor, everything was good. It's no wonder this is 
listed as the best steakhouse in the entire world. It probably is. It's certainly the best one we've ever been to, and we've been to quite a few. And um, you know, and basically, it's worth the small trip to Tolosa. Now, the trip to Tolosa wasn't too bad. We left San Sebastian, and we were in Tolosa in 35 minutes. The train is pretty quick, and uh, then we walked for about 15 minutes before we got to the restaurant. Uh, so. The town of Tolosa is worth exploring. It's cute, it's medieval, it's modern, it's just worth a view. And then the, the food here is worth eating, and the wine here is worth me rambling on because it's so good. Uh, definitely something you should try at least once in your life.